even just you know five years ago when I started, it was the companies that knew they had a data exposure uh, were already thinking about cyber risk management. Uh, and as you know, Amir, how many businesses are thinking about cyber risk management? Yeah, it, it wasn't a lot. Um, so most. when we so when we started, like a, a big part of what I what I was responsible for was more of the education and awareness, which is why the education and training background really came into play when I got into this space because it was it was less about educating people on the insurance and more about educating people on, on their risks and their exposures um, and talking to them about what could go wrong and helping them conceptualize this really nebulous uh, cyber risk topic when they hear about, you know, back then it was, you know, some of them heard of Stuxnet. Well, that's, you know, that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't matter uh, or Target or, you know, those breaches. And they're like, well, I'm a smaller business. doesn't really matter for me. So it, it took a lot of time to educate um, Puts, put information out there, help people um, connect with the risks. Uh, so over time, it's, it, it, you know, after multiple conversations throughout many renewal cycles, we get to a point of where we're working from the larger businesses with the more com complex risks now to the small and medium-sized businesses that handle data, that use technology to operate, that have now moved from a physical location where they can do everything to people working remotely and then more often than not, when we start working with new businesses, they're, they're born in the cloud. I mean, they don't have a data center. They don't have a network. So On-premises services. Service. That doesn't exist. So yeah. the cyber insurance um, that we provide is a huge part of their response and recovery um, because it's the, that's, that's, their, that's the physical location. That becomes the physical location of, you know, 10 years ago. So it's gone from like I said, those kind of more complicated businesses to uh, really businesses of all type, whether it's a, a physician or a contractor or a, a technology company, um, law firms, you think of it. I mean, that that's why cyber insurance is so interesting because it's not, it really cuts across all businesses. Um, it's not a specific sector that needs this. It's It's really any business you know, unless you're just, you know, still pen and paper and don't use technology and don't have data, which, you know, there's only a handful of those out there still. Yeah, anyway. totally. And I mean, I feel like the thing that worries me the most that that's really unfortunate is if you look at like the data on like breaches across the country, whether it's like cyber crime related or like privacy data theft type stuff, you know, it's not, it's not the really advanced technology companies that are being breached all day long. It's mm -hmm. really like, you know, the small businesses, medium sized businesses often, and I, I could be wrong, but I think like the category of, of most breached company is like construction companies are number one and like manufacturing <laughs> is like number two, you know, and then like, you know, technology companies are at the bottom of that list. Um, and like, you know, healthcare companies and, and financial companies have like maybe regulatory compliance risks, but like, you know, it criminals are smart. You know, they're focused on the people they can extract the most value from. And, you know, the data they steal, whether it's personal information or credit cards, it's just a commodity to them. And so, like, it doesn't matter if they're stealing it from Citibank or if they're stealing it from a small construction company with like 100 customers mm -hmm. in the last year. So, you know, I, I want to bring more attention, not just from the technical side, but the risk management side for these small businesses, startups, you know, people who are like, we're too small to like think about security or insurance or, um, you know, they're really the most vulnerable. And mm -hmm. so, you know, um, I I'm curious what, what, what it's going to take um, to get more of those people to understand that. And, and like you were saying, like they hear about Stuxnet and they're like, or, or really big, you know, hacks. And they're like, well, that's, that's not going to happen to me. I, I don't care about that. What they don't hear about is that all day long, there's people sitting in, you know, uh, uh, you know, farm type environments, just like generating spam and fake emails mm -hmm. to like steal a couple of bucks here and there all day long. So um, yeah, I, ho I hope to see that change. And I think it's starting to happen. Mm -hmm.